Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I'm the founder of Music Motivation. It's a company I created to help teach music theory the fun way. I refer to it as Piano Fundamentals. The emphasis, of course, is on the word fun. So right now we are going to learn about octaves. I'd like to teach you about octave intervals on the piano, major octave chords, and how you can play major octave chords in every key signature. Watch this. I think you'll like this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to learn about the octave interval. Now, what does the word octave even mean? Well, the word oct means eight. Think of an octagon. An octagon is a shape that has eight sides. An octopus is a creature that lives in the ocean that has eight tentacles, arms, legs, whatever you want to call it, but it's eight, oct. So the octave is referring to the octava. It is a distance of eight tones where you have the same tone separated, but if you were to count up according to like a major scale, it would be C to C. Watch this. C, this is middle C right here. This is C4. It's the fourth C. on the piano. So if I play the octave interval, I'm going to play C to C. If I count up from C4, the fourth C on the piano, up to C5, which is the fifth C on the piano, those are eight. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octave from C to C. That is an octave interval. Now I can move up and down on the piano playing all octave intervals. Try this. Just play the white keys, an octave interval, going up and down. Watch this. That is called an harmonic octave interval. Harmonic means harmony. You play them together at the same time. If I wanted to do a melodic octave interval, I would break them apart where I would play the bottom tone and then the top tone. So that was the unharmonic octave interval. I now I'm going to play melodic octave interval. Sometimes we call it a broken octave interval. It's just from one tone to the next, it's a broken interval, is what it is. See, from C to C, that's an eighth interval. That is the octave interval. Well, now I'm going to play melodic intervals going up and down the piano. Now, if I wanted to play a major octave chord, first I would need to know what the octave interval is, which I already know, C to C, and then I would need to know what the major chord is within that octave interval. So a C major chord or a major triad would be C, E, and G. So I put my thumb on C with the right hand, I put my third finger on E, and my pinky is on G. One, three, five. I'm going to pull these other two fingers back just so you can see it's one, three, five. That is my C major chord. It's comprised of two intervals that have been combined together. The first interval is C to E. If I play C and E, that is called a third interval. C from C, which would be one, I just count up three, just using the Y keys, one, two, three. That is my major third interval. In this case, I just played the harmonic third. Remember, harmony, you play them together at the same time. If I played the perfect fifth interval, C to G, that is one, two, three, four, five. It's a fifth. So if I combine the third with the fifth and I play them together, I get the C major chord. If I add that octave interval up on top, 
then I have a C major octave chord, C, E, G, C. So now I have a C major octave chord, and you can play around with this. It's, it's really simple to do. My finger in for the right hand, I'm playing one, two, three, five. If you notice my fourth finger, my ring fingers on both hands, I don't use the ring fingers. They just kind of hover in the air. So it's one, two, three, five. Well, what I'm going to do now is just move up in half steps through every key. A half step just means from one note or key to the, the next. I'm going to go from one tone to the, to the next, moving up and half step. If I went from this white key of C right here, the very next key is a black key right here. It's C sharp. So what I'm going to do is just take one finger to begin with and I'm going to walk up playing one key after the next. It, sometimes where you have this E to F, you have two white keys right next to each other. If you notice, there is nothing in between those two. So that is still considered half a step, even though we don't have the traditional white, black, white, black. But what I'm going to do is just play all octave intervals moving up in half steps. Watch this. Kind of a fun exercise. Now what I'm going to do is play that C major octave chord and it's just C, E, G, C. And what I've done is I have a free PDF that you can download from my website. It's musicmotivation.com. In the information below, I will have the link to this free PDF that you can print off, share any piano teachers if you want to share it with your piano students. The music is notated and written out so you can read the music. It's great as an exercise, but also it's nice to go through every key signature. I really stress once you can do something in one key, try it in every key signature. So I'm going to play all major octave chords following this PDF right here that's available on my website, and I will include the link below. But let me play this, and then I'll play around with it a bit. Try this. Now what I was doing, it was a triplet. Triplet means we're doing da 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 da. One triplet. See that? Da 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 da. One triplet. See that? And that's my second beat. So one triplet, three, four. One triplet, three, four. It's as if I'm taking that two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm just moving up in half steps. Now, the next half of this PDF, it does this. We're starting at the top where we left off. And we're going to come down breaking the major octave chord apart. Watch this. That is all there is to it. I'd love to have you download this free PDF. Go to my website, you can download it. Let me show you some ideas of what you can do to play around with this exercise. What if I started on the outside intervals and went to the inside intervals? So I will play the C octave interval, and then I will play that third in the middle and I'll rock back and forth between the two. Watch this. What if 
if I wanted to do blocked with the right hand and broken with the left hand? Try this. What if I wanted to do broken with the right hand and blocked with the left hand? We're, we're mixing things up a bit, but try this. So I hope that helps you. I hope it gives you some ideas on what you can do with the major octave chord. Not only how to play it, but how to play around with it. Part of it is being able to take the music theory and create and to compose, to arrange. The three main areas I like to focus on, one I call theory therapy, one I refer to as innovative improvisation, and the last I refer to as creative composition. Essentially, it's teaching music theory, teaching, arranging, and improvisation and helping others learn how to compose music of their own. So I hope you'll have fun with this. Play around with this. Go to my website, musicmotivation.com. You can download this free PDF. I'd love to have you watch this video. You can share it with family or friends who may enjoy learning about major octave chords as well. Every week I'm coming out with brand new videos where I teach the music theory, where I teach about improvisation and arranging, and I teach about composition. So I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. You can click on the link below, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But again, I'd love to have you watch this. I have other videos on my YouTube channel and also on my website that I have free resources I've created to help piano teachers, to help piano students, and to encourage and motivate parents of piano students. So I hope you enjoy this. Have a wonderful day. See you guys.